The Zoo Interchange Project is passing another milestone. Drivers leaving downtown will be reaping the benefit of several reopenings. Ben Jordan has a sneak peek. It's been about a year since drivers have been able to access Highway 100 from the Zoo Interchange. Starting tomorrow, that will all change. Drivers will also notice much more free-flowing traffic heading west on I-94. Travelers that are leaving downtown and heading west to Madison and even into the suburbs. Many of us have seen the backups and frustrations that come with traveling along the zoo interchange construction. They've had to put up with reduced lanes, uh, tight congestion. Construction chief Ryan Luck says some of the headaches along the busiest intersection in Wisconsin will be alleviated tomorrow. When these I-94 westbound lanes open and access to Highway 100 ramps are restored, meaning time saved on the road, coupled with safer driving conditions heading west, north, and south from the zoo. We're on new concrete and we're going to have uh, more lanes in this area and we have bigger shoulders. Nearly three years and half a billion dollars later, both phases of the zoo interchange core are inching toward the finish line. By the end of this year, we're probably going to be about 75% complete. Yet questions loom about what happens next after state lawmakers finalize the budget without funding the North Leg. Construction supervisor Jason Roselle says that project is currently at a standstill. Undetermined as, as to when it will be completed. Wistot says zoo interchange construction is on time and on budget. It's expected to be complete next August. Reporting on the zoo interchange, Ben Jordan, today's TMJ4. New at six.